Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to episode two of our local geology series. Uh, this episode will be about the trilobite. Trilobites were a very successful and very diverse type of organism that was very common in prehistoric seas through much of Earth's history. Uh, they fulfilled all kinds of niches, from predators to scavengers. They lived on the bottom of the sea. Some of them swam, and some of them were small enough to be to make up part of the plankton. Trilobites were arthropods. Uh, arthropods are animals with jointed exoskeletons, like crabs and other crustaceans, spiders and other arachnids, or insects, like this Madagascar hissing cockroach right here. We get close up, we can see its exoskeleton and its legs are jointed there to allow it to move and even move its body, like this right here. Trilobites can be found all over the world, from England to Morocco. This one here was found in New York State. Uh, this is a section of the trilobite's head right here. This is its eye and the rest of its head. It's missing all the rest of the trilobite. And these two here are local Pike County trilobites. This one here is Phacops rana, the state fossil of Pennsylvania, because it's so common. Found all over, not just Pennsylvania, but all our surrounding states as well. They're usually about this big. Uh, it's missing a bit of the head, which would be right here. Uh, but these guys can get up to six inches long, which is about how big this other species here usually is. This is again uh, missing its head, but the rest of the body can be found here. Uh, this species is Diplura decai, not nearly as easy to pronounce as the other one, uh, and also a lot more rare in Pennsylvania here. Uh, a lot rarer, a lot bigger. Uh, while trilobites might look a lot like pill bugs, this is just a case of convergent evolution, which we'll go over in more detail in another video. When we find trilobite fossils, they're usually like these ones that I showed you before, they're usually either just heads or just bodies, because like all arthropods, trilobites shed their skin. And when they shed their skin, it splits behind the head there. So to show you guys the anatomy of a trilobite, I'll use this replica here in our fossil pit in the ecozone. The name trilobite means three lobes, which comes from the three sections of a trilobite's body. Their tail, or pygium, their body, or thorax, and their head, or cephalon. One of the most interesting things about trilobite anatomy is their eyes. Rather than being made out of the same stuff as our eyes or the eyes of other arthropods like insects and crustaceans, their eyes were made of crystal. This is a calcite crystal, the same type of crystal that trilobite eyes were made of. Each eye was made up of a ton of little tiny lenses, all made of these calcite crystals. Trilobites first appeared in our oceans about 520 million years ago and lasted until the end Permian mass extinction, which was roughly 250 million years ago. This is not just the mass extinction event that paved the way for dinosaurs to rule the Earth, it's also the largest mass extinction event in Earth's history. An estimated 90% of all species being wiped out, 96% of the species living in the ocean, unfortunately including the trilobites. Thank you for watching, I hope you tune in for our next video.